How's it going lads? It's your boy Brighty and I'm here today to talk to you about why I think Call of Duty Ghosts is going to suck donkey balls. Because it's just looking at the trailers and some of the gameplay that's come out, this I can just see so many flaws and it just looks so overcomplicated. And I know I haven't done a, while, a video in a while but this kind of just caught my attention. I was like shit. Um, everyone's kind of getting hyped and I just don't believe the hype. It just, I don't think it looks very good and by the way, you're watching an AA12 mob on a... I can't remember the map. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice gameplay, so uh, you should enjoy that. But, let's get into it. I've got a nice little list of why I think it's going to suck. Um, and so let's get into it. Um, the support package is making a return from Modern Warfare 3. Why they have done this, I have no idea. The support package pretty much ruined Respawn f for this game. as I get oh, kind of split quad feed there. Um, the support package essentially just ruined Respawn, as I've said, for this game. Just the stealth bombers, the EMPs, the, when kids have, with no thumbs can just, like, cap a couple of flags, shoot down your hard-earned air support with just easy-ass stingers that take no skill to use, and then they get uh, a bloody stealth bomber that just goes across the map, basically kills everyone. You're on a streak, you are fucked. You cannot escape it. I've lost so many gameplays, just like going from mobs and stuff to stealth bombers. It's just heartbreaking. I know they probably won't bring the stealth bomber back, but the fact they give these just easy ass score streaks for bad players, it just it really frustrates me that they don't really care about the kind of hardcore community. They just want to please the little randies that get on at the weekends who are just bad at the game, have no real intent to get better and improve. They just want to you know casually play, derp about, troll, and be complete fucking dickheads. And it just, honestly, it just makes for a worse playing experience because you're trying to, you know, get mad streaks, you're feeling all hyped, and then, bam, you're dead, you, you have momentum, it's all gone, and you just want to punch bloody, well, it's not um, Robert Bowling anymore because he is out, he's got out of the sinking Infinity Ward ship early, which was probably a wise move on his behalf, and you can't really punch Tina in the face because she's a chick, but, uh, yeah, just bl blame Bond because, you know, it's Bond to her. There's too many perks. There's 35, count it, 35 perks in Call of Duty Black Ops. No, what? Black Ops? Call of Duty Ghosts. I mean, 35. It's, oh, what? I would, it's like they just need to see progress. So they're just adding more and more shit in that we don't want. There's perk that gives you essentially a flinch head, headshot without actually getting a flinch headshot, which make, this gives you a chance of getting stopping power essentially on your bullet is the dumbest thing ever so just the higher you are on your specialist streak is just the more damage you do which i guess is good for your momentum but i can see it being so annoying um because as i said you'll be on a streak you'll be you know running around beating on kids in search and destroy and there'll be some randy mcgee sat in his spawn with that equipped and you're going to get into a gunfight that you think you should win and then he's had equipped that perk because he knows he's a bad player and he's not confident with his gun skill and you're going to get absolutely shat on. And it will be heartbreaking. You will just, as I said, just freak out, destroy shit. And it will not be a fun time. And I just think with there's just too many perks. to There's going to be just one kind of godly setup. that's going to be so frustrating to play against. So I was just thinking now, you can make such an easy, just like explosive C4 throwing setup. It would be so cheap to counter like blast shield or whatever the kind of explosive... Um, perk is to you know protect against explosives so you can have just like dual c4s fast hands the perk that allows you to throw c4s further and i think they're just kind of creating perks they're taking stuff away from the game in order to give it a perk which i think will take away from the actual experience of the game because you'll be like hey why can't i throw my grenades that far i don't want to equip a stupid perk to do it and you know, i've been able to do it in every other game and i think just that is just going to take away from some of the gameplay um, fast juggernauts in the support package. There's a juggernaut with a thousand health that regens. That uh, this is what I believe anyway. I'm not sure if it's all confirmed. This is all maybe hearsay, but I think some of it's confirmed. And I don't quote me directly on it, but yeah, the run around and knife you. Now, one of the things that annoys me most in Call of Duty Black Ops is the little queers that think, hey, it's fun to run around with just a knife prone in a little dark bush where no one can see you and then just knife you 
and that's really gay because you'll be you you know walk past him, you you hear some little footsteps behind you, be like, oh shit, there's a knife or something. You'll turn around, you will start shooting with like a shotgun or something, and then bang, you've been stabbed, and there's no escaping a blade once you've been hunted down. So that's going to be really cheap, especially as he's got a thousand health and he can potentially regenerate his health. That's just going to be so freaking dumb. Um, for some reason, they decided to move the kill feed from the bottom left-hand corner to the top-hand corner. Uh, top right corner, sorry. I'm not really sure why they're employing people to do that. I mean, I've been watching COD videos pretty much since COD 4, and I don't think I've heard anyone ever say, Hey, you know what? I don't like the position of the kill feed. There's nothing wrong with the game apart from the kill feed. You know, that's just really bugging me. Uh, cool. Infinity War, can you just address that? But apparently that's a, a big issue. So uh, they've moved the kill feed now, and so I'm sure it'll please some elite sniper feeders or whatever, because they can make their montages look cooler, but I just think they're employing people at this point just for the sake of employing them, and it's just so freaking dumb. Why they've done that, I do not know. Sniping looks ridiculously easy, which is just gay as fuck. Um, they've danger closes back, apparently, so let's look forward to some good old noob tube and C4 and... Explosive in Riot Shield in Faggotry. Um, I'm sure Search and Destroy will be a right with that, which will be really good fun to play. Not. And the graphics, I think the graphics look kind of shit myself. They look kind of like Battlefield. It's like Battlefield 2.0. Um, it just looks like worse Battlefield, but that is the game. Final score is 38 and 1, but I believe. Uh, pretty nice gameplay, and that's just why I think Ghosts will be shit, frankly. Uh, I just, I just don't think they've added too much. Just done, done thing, done, done, dumb things to it. Like move the kill feed. I mean, nobody wants the kill feed moved. That's just going to be irritating to play against. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And <laughs>